Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the Daily Stock Market. And today what we're going to be talking about is 10 stocks that are down 40% or more. So buying opportunities, buying the dip opportunities is what we're going to be talking about. Today we're down about 1%, which isn't the worst thing in the world. If we still go to the three-month chart, which is the most important chart to look at when you're trading stocks, you're still up 16%. That's amazing news. Most people don't even get 16% in the entire year. So we're on track. We're still doing good. Don't lose sight of your goals. Remember, about 20 to 30% per year is the benchmark goal that we're going for. So if you have a past three months looking good, past six months looking good, that's what's important. Don't really look at the last week, the last day. That's too short of a mindset to have. So with that being said, Here's some long-term buying opportunities. If you're a long-term investor, buying the dip is one of the most important and powerful things you can do in the stock market. So let's go over some of my favorite stocks that are down significantly. All right, looks like the stock market is bouncing back a little bit right here. When I was planning to film this video, it was down 8%. BNGO is the first one at $6 a share. And if you look at the last week, they're down 18%. And the last month, they're down 35%. But from their all-time high, if we actually look at that, they're down 61%. And in my opinion, BNGO is a great, great long-term holding stock. They're in the genomic sector, and they actually have a huge edge on the competition. So this is not just a pump and dump. I think BNGO is going to be here to stay but if you are going to be holding them, you're going to want to at least be holding them for about 6 to 12 months to see it go back to 12 to $14 per share. Now, we are going to go rapid fire on these stocks because we have a lot of stocks to talk about. I want to cover at least 10. I think we're actually going to be doing 11 on this list. And these are all great buying opportunities. As you can see, SKLZ down 12% in the last week. I did a full coverage on them in one of my other videos. Kathy Woods is continuing to buy skills. The fundamentals seem good as ever. And the last month, they're down 48%. Right, So that's a huge, huge sell-off. And from their all-time high, they're down 65%. So that's a huge, huge come up. If they even get back to $30 a share, that's 100% gain. And remember, they were all the way up to $43 a share at one point. So this is a company I think can get back to new all-time highs, especially if you're holding for one to two years. This is going to be a longer term hold. We also did a full video on this one, so we won't go too much in detail if you want to watch that video. But the best place to buy if this one can go as low as $12 to $13 a share, even $14 a share, you might want to wait for it to. So you can see if it does go that low before buying in. But overall, I think this is a great long-term hold. Now, the next one on the list is another one that Kathy Wood loves to invest in. On the day, it's not really down at all. And the week, it's actually up. But in the last month, it's down 5%. In the last three months, it's down 37%. And the last year from its all-time high, which was in January, it's down 30 40 percent so all these stocks are at least down 40 percent this one's down 40 percent and it's a great long-term hold i would love to see if this one can go back to its old support of 85 dollars to about a hundred dollars before buying in heavily on them but if you plan on holding for six months 12 months this one's kind of similar to bngo they are into that genome splicing and editing. So that's obviously going to be a huge factor and a huge sector in the future. Kathy Wood actually said in the next five years, the genomic um, sector can actually outpace the EV sector. And that's coming from Kathy Woods. And you don't have to buy every single stock on this list. That's not what it's for. But maybe one or two or three or four of these stocks on the, this list that I talk about, you've been considering buying for a while. So it's always good to pick your top three to five from a big list of 10 or 15 like we're doing today. So with that being said, our next one up is RIOT, Riot Blockchain. It's going to be following Bitcoin and crypto down 10% today. And it was down 10% yesterday. So that's about 20% in the last two days. But in the last month, it's down 28%. And the last three months, it's, down, it's actually up 74%. But from its all-time high... I think it's down, what is that, 41% from its all-time high. 
So I think this one, Riot can easily get back to a new all-time high, especially if Bitcoin continues to rally up to 70K, 75K, 80K. Riot is definitely one that you can see about a 80, 50 to 80% 80 gain or more from, maybe even 100% gain from Riot if cryptocurrency and Bitcoin continues to rally and Bitcoin goes to 75K, which is a very high possibility. All right, after that, we have ticker symbol ZM, Zoom, and everyone knows them. This was one of the biggest beneficiaries from the pandemic. And if we go to their all-time high, they're actually down 42% from our all-time high. So Zoom's a great stock to be in for the long term. They are implementing new strategies. If you are interested in Zoom, you might want to pause the video and read this full summary, but we'll kind of go over it first. Zoom wrapped up a phenomenal 2021, the best they've ever seen, um, blah, blah, blah. Zoom is projected to grow another 42% in 2022. Wow. So it's expected to grow 42% in 2022, which is really, really good news for a long-term investor. And you'll actually see the core drivers are Zoom video conferencing will still be needed when the office is open and Zoom phones will add a considerable amount of new revenue. So I think this is a great long-term investment. And this list really is more of long-term investments. All these are going to be good if you want to be holding for 6 to 12 months or even longer. But the list we talked about yesterday, if you missed that video, are going to be safer stocks to invest in. This is going to be more of like the growth path. And it's going to be more of the riskier investments. But they can pay off a lot more than the list we talked about yesterday. You know, if you had a thousand dollars and invested into the list yesterday that we talked about on the last video, yeah, it's going to be more safer. But if you have a thousand dollars and invest in these stocks we're talking about today, it might be a little bit more riskier, but it can grow a lot more rapidly, a lot more quicker also. So if you're into taking risks, but still a long term investor, then this is going to be the video for you. All right. So the next one on the list is CCIV Churchill Capital down 5.8% just today. Wow, look at that. The market's getting obliterated the last two days, which was, what was that, Wednesday and Thursday. We've been getting absolutely killed in the market. Churchill Capital down 10% in the week and 25% in the month from its all-time high, which was a lot of hype, 62%. I think Churchill Capital can, and we got to start stop calling them Churchill Capital. We got to start calling them Lucid lucid motors and i really want that ticker symbol to switch and get that churchill capital out of here because it's about time that lucid motors takes over this is an american ev company they have a bright future ahead of them especially if you hold for at least two years on this one this one's going to be super long term because they just delayed production which actually push pushed the price down after they continued to delay production six months longer than they were expected. Now, after that, we have ChargePoint on the list, and they were down a whopping 5.2% earlier today. And the last week, they're getting killed, down 18% in the last week, and the last month, 15%. But the last three months, 47% on a big, nice company like ChargePoint. This is one of the better ones on the list for long term, especially at the price point it's at. $23 a share, I think, is a steal. I'm only down about 2% on them. I want to continue to add more to my position. Actually, I do want to buy a little bit more right now. So we'll buy $100 of charge point here. So that will be added. Awesome. So we got some charge point. This is going to be a great long term hold with Joe Biden's infrastructure plan. ChargePoint is a leader in EV electrical chargers. So if you're bullish on the infrastructure plan, if you're bullish on EVs, this definitely is going to be the stock for you. And you definitely want to be holding this one for at least one to two years. But personally, I'm probably going to be holding this one for four years for the entire Joe Biden presidency, because I think personally in the next four years, charge point and evs will come such a long way that it'll be a mass adoption of ev vehicles and charge point will have so much supply and demand that it will need to build so many new chargers increasing the revenue obviously in their company the net income the numbers the stations the network 
the EV chargers. So it'll be good, good news, especially for a long term with ChargePoint. I'm loading up on this one. Anything under $25, even anything long under $30 for long term, I think is a good price point. But under $25 is a steal for me for long term. So don't be coming back tomorrow or next week or next month and being like, Charge point went down a little bit more. You know, now I'm down 10%. Remember, these are long term positions. Same with any stock on this list. You can't come back a, a week or a month later and complain that it's down. You have to have a long term mindset with any of these stocks. And if you're currently in any of these stocks and you're down, you shouldn't have got into them in the first place if you didn't plan on holding for long term because these are all long term stocks and have great buying opportunities with this dip going on. Okay, so the next one on the list, CGC Canopy Growth, and this is an MJ stock, as we know, down 20% in the last month, 15% in the last three months from an all-time high. They're down 47%. So if you're bullish on the MJ sector, it's becoming legal in a lot more states. New York just adopted it. So I think it's here to grow. And with Joe Biden as presidency again, that's one sector that he wants to push and continuing to legalize, legalize, legalize is the MJ sector, right? So this is a good one for another to hold for at least one to two years, but I'll be holding for at least four years, just like ChargePoint for the entire Joe Biden presidency, because I think in two years, four years from now, we're going to see all 50 states completely okay with it. And not only 50 states on a state level, we're going to see it at a federal level, right? So that's the key. Just like how Canada has it legal at a federal level, I think the U.S. is going to be moving in that direction and Joe Biden is going to make it legal on a federal level. And once that happens, I think it'll bring a lot of hype to this MJ sector and CGC being one of the leaders in the sector and just to let you guys know too uh the mj sector the ev sector they've been having a rough time in the last few months and this is the time to buy the dip into the ev sector and the mj sector so not the whole stock market is taking a dip like big tech is doing just fine big tech actually had their dip if you guys remember like two three four weeks ago or something like that so now the EV sector and the renewable energy sector and the MJ sector is taking a dip, which is a great, great long-term sectors for Joe Biden's presidency. These are some stocks that are very bullish under a Joe Biden presidency. Now, the next one on the list, Fastly, is a good swing trade. So I think that this is one of the better swing trades on the list that you can get away with not holding for long-term you know, you can probably hold this one for like three or four months, probably under six months and still get away with a great swing trade. So you can see it's been consolidating here um, for the last few months since the beginning of March. It's been consolidating. And this one is really good, maybe a good option also. So you might even want to consider selling, doing an option on this one, right? Obviously, the risk is there. The risk is very heavy with an option, so I'm going to be swing trading it. And let's see, we're up 6%, so we have $1,300. We definitely believe in the swing trade. As you can see, it's been following this pattern since June. Support one, two, three, four, five, six. It's hit the support about six times in the last year, and the resistance is clear too. Um, it's about 100 all the way up to 120. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's hit that resistance six times. So Fastly is down from its all-time high or even a recent all-time high. It's down, what is that, 41%. I think that this one can easily be a easy 30 50% gain or more on a swing trade. This is going to be a longer-term swing trade, but I think there is potential to make some money on this one in the sh in the sh not I shouldn't say short term, but in the midterm. There's definitely a midterm swing trade potential. So this is one to have on the list if you're looking at a swing trade. WKHS, all right, workhorse, eleven dollars a share. Wow, I never thought I would see a workhorse at eleven dollars a share. That's actually pretty depressing. Down eleven percent in the last month. 
29% in the last month, excuse me, 52% in the last three months. And that's basically from their all-time high. They're killed down 71% from their all-time high of $41. So what happened? You guys probably know they missed the contract. They did not get the contract that they were supposed to be getting with USPS. This was a multi-multi-billion dollar contract and would have had exploded the stock and everyone was basically banking on that they were going to be getting the contract it was priced in personally i'm going to be holding workhorse i don't think it'll go much lower than 11 you know even though the last support was at 16 dollars and it broke that support by a lot it's just continuing down and down and down which is really really not a good sign at all you know it can easily go as low as nine dollars four dollars a share i don't know if it will the only thing that in my opinion that can save workhorse is if they start putting up numbers you know they need numbers they need revenue they need income they need a contract they need anything for positive momentum at their company and the last one is neo all right guys it's on the list it's down 40 percent 43 percent in the last three months which is absolutely insane for a huge stock like neo to be down 43 percent this is a great buying opportunity on many levels it's a good swing trade and it's a good long-term hold this is a good long-term hold because obviously they are the biggest ev manufacturing in china China is the biggest EV market in the world, which gives them a huge, huge market share in the future. Now, right now, Tesla is dominating China numbers in EVs, but China is not going to let that fly for much longer. They're already starting to ban them, the Teslas, for like military personnel or anything like that, which is a red flag. Neo is a great, great, great long-term hold. They're growing production. They're growing deliveries. They're growing revenue. They're growing everything right now. And for you to be getting them at $35 a share, I think it's an absolute steal if you plan on holding for one to two years. This one will easily go back to all, new all-time highs. It's definitely worth a lot more than $35 a share. I'll tell you, even in the next three to six months, I think it can easily get back to $55 a share. So don't be sleeping on NEO. The whole EV industry is down right now. And this is your, your time to buy the dip on all of these companies. You can actually see a hard support right here is $38, uh, $35. And right now it's at that $35. It's at that support. So it hasn't broke that support yet. But if it goes much lower, even about 10 cents lower, it can easily break that support and head to lower territories. I would love to see Neo at $30 a share, $25 a share. I'll be buying a lot more because I definitely believe in this company long term. I mean, if you realistically think about the future in the next one to two to even three to five years, do you really think that Tesla is going to be dominating China? China has so many regulations and restrictions in their government that they're not going to give that huge, huge market share billions and billions if not trillions of dollars to america you know one of their biggest competitors they're not going to let that fly china has such a big ev market so just keep that in mind that neo has a great future they're a long-term hold but remember if you plan on buying in any of these i would at least go in with the mindset of one to two years because Buying the dip is definitely a game changer in your portfolio and can easily get you some massive gains in your portfolio. That's how I gain a lot of, of percentage gains. You guys wonder how I get percentage gains. I buy the dip, right? It's one of my biggest secrets and one of my biggest tips. So with that being said, here's my Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram yet, make sure you are subscribed on YouTube. That was the entire video. I hope you guys absolutely loved it. If you want to get some more help one-on-one, -on -one, DM me on Instagram. Here's my portfolio. We're at almost 79,000 followers on Instagram now, and we've just passed 400,000 views on youtube also so if you want to be a part of it on instagram i post stories every single day almost every single hour i post stories here to keep you up privy and also guys i posted a um 
a video on my close friends only yesterday, how to read news articles quickly, which apps I use, and why news around a company is important. So if you guys want to actually see those private videos, I actually have 25 private videos that can actually help you get to the next level. And they're laid out step by step. So like first you should do this, second you should do this. If you're a beginner and you want to learn more about the market, that program is going to be for you. So if you want to get on that, DM me on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to help you out and get you to the next level. So share this video with a friend if you thought there was some value in it. If you're buying the dip, comment below you i'm buying the dip hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next video and remember don't time the market buy the market peace